What's up, y'all? It's your boy Ro Timmy, sexy Nigerian butterscotch now. And yo, check out my new project, Jeep Music Volume 1. And you're watching Man in the Wall. Call me when you want more, when you want more. The whole Jeep Music project that um that one was on kind of tells a story of my last relationship. Like it's really like what exactly happened, you know? And one more, it's a feel-good record, but the message in it is that. I'm, you're in a bad situation. I don't think you deserve that. You need to be with me. Like, and if you want something better, if you want something bigger, if you want something cooler, call me. You know what I mean? So that's how we start. That's how we kind of we met, and it sets the tone for the rest of the project. I mean, she was there. You know what I mean? So like, it wasn't really much to consult. But no, I, I actually told her that this is what I'm doing because she, she's known in New Jersey of having this Jeep. You know, mm -hmm. and it was like a metaphor because that Jeep followed us throughout our whole relationship. So it's kind of like a metaphor of saying, okay, I conquered that. Because when you see the cover, it's me sitting on top of it, you know, and just looking up and just breathing easy. So I wanted it to all connect, you know, like artistically. The hesitation is that they just don't know because they're so used to seeing it a certain way from other people. So when now what's power has done for me, it's now allowed people to causing awareness so now that they're aware that's when it's like oh whoa like i didn't know i didn't fathom that he could do both you know so of course i know it because of the, the people before me who, who've done it and there's very few people that can actually do it so i understand it but now it's for me to break all that 50 and ti the record is called nobody um it was a club fun record you know that kind of started the whole oh wow we're to me about to start putting music back out but um, fit, people don't know that T.I. offered me my first deal, you know, back in the day, back in 2012-ish. So I, I personally wasn't ready for it. Um, vocally I was, but mentally I didn't know what kind of artist I was going to be. So I didn't want to put myself in that situation. But things come back around and now to have the two legends basically work on my project and they've never done anything together. So for us to do that and shoot the video and all that, it was just an epic situation. Dre got rid of Julio because he thought he, he knew that he was just in a way. He was in a way. He wanted Dre. Tommy gave Julio a spot that who that Dre did not respect Julio to have, and Tommy was not going to change his mind. So Dre said, "You're not going to do something about it. I'm going to do something about it." And he got rid of of Julio. So now he wants to be Distro. So if he becomes Distro. And a lot of things will, you know, change a certain way. I had come on right when people were f discovering it. Like, people didn't actually watch it when it was on Stars at first. They watched it, caught up with it afterwards. So my audition was when it was the off season, and people were like, yo, this is show you need to watch, bro. Like, it was the first wave of it, early, early. So you're like, all right, cool, it's another good show, whatever, you know. And Empire was the one that people were really, really talking about at the time. So they're like, all right, let's see. But to see what it's become and just the fanatics behind it, the, the it's just incredible, man. And um, it's a testament to the writing and a testament to, you know, the, the brilliance and the acting. I think the fascination about power is that everybody sees themselves in somebody. Like, Dre, before this past weekend, represented hope for a lot of kids. You know, I want to be the man. I want to do this. I can go from the hood to this. People can relate to Tommy, whereas, like, Tommy is like a little piece of everybody that's just wild and just raw emotion in our heart. Ghost is calculated. So it, it embodies different parts of the real human, you know, personality. So people can relate. That's why they get so tied into it because it feels like real life. I would marry Lakeisha. <laughs> yes. I would I would smash Tasha and I'll kill her.